Official momentum. What's going on? Uh-oh. And what is up, official momentum? So you get to be the first contestant because today we are playing a game. All right. Are you ready for this one? You already know. All right. All right, official momentum. So the way this game works is called trade, pay, or play. And we're talking about Deontay Johnson today, okay? So you get the option. Do you want to trade Deontay Johnson because of the contract situation? Would you pay Deontay Johnson the 15 plus million dollars that he's looking for? Or would you make him play this final season out and then, you know, do what you want to do with him afterwards? But those are the three options. Trade, pay, or play. How you handling (laughs) my man Deontay Johnson in this situation? Well... Seeing what happened last season, I say just let the man play it out. And if he makes that excel, we can see what happens 2023 and beyond that. Mm, okay, okay. I guess the one thing, because I'm with him whenever yeah. you brought this topic up. I'm like, I'm definitely <laughs> saying play. You let it play out because I think the Steelers have the leverage. Mm-hmm. How does he react to that? Does he hold out? Man. Does he? It, it, Go ahead. I just, you know, I, it's tough. I say just let let him play, man. I know, like, the media overhypes this stuff. And, mm-hmm. you know, I think he definitely got a lot to prove. He's made some catches last season. Uh, it's really just how he finishes the whole season. Like, he started off strong last season, and then it kind of just dipped. So, I just say let the season, you know, play out. And, uh, you know, let's see what my man can do. Let's see. This is a step-up uh, finale. And he did come off his Pro Bowl as well, man. We can't forget that. Yeah, 1,100 yards, what, eight touchdowns, 3% drop rate? We saw the stats. Yeah. I guess, is that it? Hello? Yes, sir. Oh, all right. Well, hey, man, official momentum, man. We appreciate you tuning in with us, baby. Appreciate y'all, man. Have a good day. Hey, you too, baby. All right. right. I like it. I like it. The phone lines are open. Upper room members. Man, I'm getting a little feedback over here, bro. Let me see. Yeah, man, man. Make sure we Gucci. All right. You hearing that, right? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, man. I don't know if they hear They might not hear it, though, to be honest with you. Okay. Hello, hello. Talk to me, man. Who are you on the line with? Hey, this is Jake from North Carolina. What's going on, Mo? Man, what is going on, player? How we living today? <laughs> living good, living good. Out here cutting this grass, making that money. What's hey, going on, let's man? let's go, man. Got to stack that paper. I love to hear it, baby. Love to hear it. So, man, we playing the game. Yes. You know how we doing it. We got Deontay Johnson in his situation, okay? So, we got to ask, uh-huh. are you trading him? Are you going to pay him? Or would you just allow him to play out this final year and see what goes on with that? Are you going to pay him? I think I, I, if it was up to me, you know. Oh, and, and could you turn your turn, and can you turn your uh, t- turn your, uh, your 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 screen down a little? Bit. I can hear like we hearing our feedback in a sense, <laughs> man. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. There better? we go. Yeah, that's perfect. Yep. See, are you trading them? My man. Are you gonna pay them, or are you gonna let them play this year out, baby? What you doing? Um, I would take an unconventional route and I would cut him. And here's Whoa. why. I, here's why I would. Here's why I would cut him. Okay. This is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh-huh. You don't show up to OTAs. Yeah, you know they're, they're not mandatory, but I would I would set a precedent. If you're coming here, you're coming here to play. Okay. Money should come second. If you look at the old school dudes from back in the days, yeah, they didn't play for money. They no, played for their rights. You know, to get that crown. So that's just yeah. my opinion. No, I like it, man. He's sending a message, though. I can respect that. That is a different approach. Now, if you cut him, how are you replacing that productivity? Are you drafting a guy? Are you trying to, you know, go trade for a Debo Samuel or somebody? Like, what would be your plan, though, after that? No, I, I wouldn't trade for uh, Debo. He would cost too much. I would go ahead and uh, take my chances with the draft. Okay. Because we do draft, you know, pretty good. So, you know, with wide receivers. Yeah. So I'd go ahead and roll the dice with that. Okay. Okay. No, I definitely like that. You got something? I have a question about the cut versus trade. Why not trade them then, though? At least you'll get something in return instead of cutting them. Or do you, you want to make that uh, big time statement, though? I mean, my man only, ooh, he barely made a Pro Bowl. I mean, he was, he, he originally didn't even make it. <laughs> tell so, him how you really I mean, feel. Tell him how you he really got really snubbed feel. though. I mean, and, he should have gotten over Keenan Allen. Tell him how you really feel. <laughs> so, in, in, in two years, in two seasons, he dropped, what, 20 balls, 22 balls, something like that? <laughs> nah, you, you ain't getting 15 plus for that. No. <laughs> I like 
like it, baby. I like it. No, that was different though. That was that was clean right there. So we definitely appreciate that though, man. And like I said, that's good to hear that different style of opinion as well, man. That different perspective on it, man. So nah, man, we definitely can respect that. But uh, don't work too hard. And you got any weekend plans for us, man? What you what you got going on this weekend, man? Anything cool? <laughs> Now working. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, either way, man, don't work too hard, and we appreciate you for tuning in, baby. I appreciate y'all, man. Peace. No right, doubt. Peace. No, I like it. That was a different approach right there, man. I was a little surprised. We hit with the- cut him. <laughs> I can respect it though. The phone line is open, ladies and gentlemen. The phone lines are open, man. Oh, Got to keep the game going, baby. Trade, pay, or play. Here we go. Talk to me, baby. Who we on the line with, man? I'm sorry. I, I will never get over that answer. Hey, yo, this is Lamborghini Leglock. Oh, Lamborghini Leglock. You know I love your name. I've been waiting to tell you that on the phone. I love your name, Lamborghini Leglock. Thank you so much for that cool name. But with that being said, man, yeah. let's get this game rolling. Trade, pay, or play. What approach are you taking with my man Deontay Johnson? You are the GM of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Honestly, I'm paying them, and the only reason why I'm paying them is because there's not another receiver that can get as open mm. as he can on Very our true. roster. Very true. He does create a ton of separation. He wins in a hurry, which is why he gets targeted so much, without a doubt. Um, but now, when you say you would pay him, what's your price point? You going 15? Would you go up to 20? Where you, where you falling with that? Man, I think the most I would pay him would be like seventeen five, maybe eighteen. Okay. Okay. And try, that's, that's pushing. Try to find a little sweet spot. I but can dig I, that. I, I don't know. I feel like though we, we got to get some wide receivers in the draft. Some just like Deontay that can get open, mm-hmm. and we Dodson. need some speed yeah. because we got we have some physical wide receivers right now. Mm-hmm. We have some blocking wide receivers too. Yeah. We got Pat Fryer and Ruth who can block. Mm-hmm. We're going to be a running team. We need uh, wide receivers to get open on play action passes, and we just need to move that ball downfield. Now, nah, you bring up some good points right there, man. Oh, definitely does. Nah, I like here's, that. here's one of the things with Deontay, though. Hold on, I forgot what I was going to say, actually. Hold on. <laughs> oh, Lord. Deke been researching, ladies and gentlemen. The White Claws have got this man. It is a wrap. No, no. Here's what I was going to say. It's actually a good point. I'm glad I remembered it. I'm really glad. <laughs> What is Deontay? But yeah, uh, thanks for having me on. Oh, 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 oh. Really Le- Le- Lamborghini, hold on, hold on. He was asking you. Deke asked you, "What is Deontay ceiling, though?" That's what you asking, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm asking him. I'm just uh, kind of thinking out loud. What is Deontay ceiling? Was that one of his best seasons we're gonna see out of Deontay last year? I or think do you we think had, that's but his we floor? had Bennett quarterback mm-hmm. feeding him the ball a ton, over 100 receptions. Or do you think he can continue to with improve? improved quarterback play? <laughs> Oh, I think it's only going to be downhill. It's only downhill oh. from here. That's why. That's why I'm saying like it's 17, 18 too much. Then at this point, if it's only downhill, then I really don't like the money now. Right. I think you're paying him to improve. St- I mean, obviously yeah. the drops, but even pro- I think we need improvement on production because yeah. I think we could draft a rookie dude in the first or second round. They come in and get eight, nine hundred yards. Like Let's it's put it this way. Let's put it this way. The only reason why we have Pro Bowl caliber wide receiver for ten years plus. Is because of Ben Roethlisberger. I mean, you're speaking. I'm point, not yeah. sure if Mitch Trubisky can can you know with uh, our our general manager drafting all these wide receivers mm-hmm. if he can make Pro Bowl Pro Bowlers out of all these guys, you know, or at least some of them. Mm-hmm. I mean, if anything, because I'm thinking about Trubisky being the quarterback. He's uh, there's not really much upside with Trubisky. It's just he's a game manager. Mm. Okay, yeah. If you think Trubisky doesn't have any upside. And you think it was all Ben? Then you are you just saying, "Hey, we need to give Trubisky some help in keeping Deontay." That's kind of what you're getting at. Well, Trubisky's definitely not a thirty and ten quarterback. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Could be right. <laughs> Don't count it out. <laughs> he said, "Is not." I mean, I, I would have gave up an arm and a leg to get uh, Derek Carr, but I mean, my, we got stuck with. Uh, with a run of the litter, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, they gave him the big contract. Yeah. McDaniels wants him, so. Yeah. Now nah, that's dope, though, man. Lamborghini leg lock, man. We definitely appreciate you, man, hitting us up on the phone, man. And enjoy the rest of your weekend. Don't work too hard, all right? And until next time, 
Peace. 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 Let's it, get it. All right. We got time for one more call. Then after that, man, we got to roll so my I'm man gonna, Deke can I'm get up out of here, flight. man. Deke is not missing this flight on my account. All right. So one last time, man. Who wants to hop on this line, man? You got the digits. Hit the line. Let's get it rolling. Player, player, player. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Stan Claire says 35 and 7. Uh oh. That's 1 8. 1 8. <laughs> 35 sounds a lot, man. Who we on the hotline with? Talk to me, baby. Hey, what's good? It's DJ Deer. Man, there what is. is up, baby? How we living across the pond, mate? Uh, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well, honestly. I'm honestly, I uh, just got my hair done. You know? <laughs> <laughs> just fade. I'm trying to, you know, but I just, uh, I just got my research done. Okay. Oh, hey, he said he just got his research done as well. I like that, man. All right, so we got to go quick because I don't want Deke to miss his flight, Okay. But talk to me here, man. Right. Deontay Johnson, are you going to trade him? Are you going to pay him? Or would you just tell him to go out here and play this final season and let it do what it do? What's your thoughts, man? So, um, based off your point that you made you know, last podcast or two podcasts ago, and you said that Deontay is going to uh, probably continue to uh, show his you know, unhappiness towards you know, not getting paid and stuff. I do think we should trade him. For no uh, less than a second round pick, because I think we can go and adjust the uh, receiver room in the draft. But if not, we if we don't get him for a second round pick, uh, we got to let him play. But that's that's why that's why I think we should you know, do as an organization. Okay, okay. So the second round pick for that man. All right, all right. It makes sense. I I understand the sentiment. Yeah, if you're if you're gonna that. trade him, or you think. He's going to get more disgruntled as the offseason goes without him getting a contract. Then, yeah, it's got to be at least a second. Yeah, he's right. Maybe probably even another pick, too. It needs to be like a second and a third or second and a fourth. Definitely has to be at least a second. I'm with you on that. And then you could draft a dude in the first round and then maybe draft another dude like we talked about Ross the other day in the third. No, without it, it's not a bad little receiving core, then. Nah, I like that. I like that. Hey, Zeke, we do got to get ready to roll, though, because, like I said, I can't have my man Deke missing this flight on my account or your account, all right? But yes, we, sir. But we yes, definitely sir. appreciate ahead, you hitting Deke. us up, baby. And we will talk to you later, baby. Peace. All right, bro.